And hello my lovelies, it is Tori the Hope Diller and welcome to my channel Guided Intuition. <laughs> As you can see, my voice is very weird and no, I did not just roll out of bed, okay? <laughs> but yes, my lovely, I am here with your daily guidance, daily energy on this beautiful Thursday, okay, July the 19th, 2018. However, whenever you see this, this is when it's meant to resonate for you. As we know, in the spirit realm, there are no timelines. And as you can see, we're home. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I love being home. I, I love traveling, don't get me wrong, but I love being home. Um, yeah, as you can see, my lovelies, I did not post yesterday. I was having like uploading technical difficulties my internet mercury was just all up in my stuff like she wasn't cutting me no breaks guys no breaks no breaks at all and then now my voice you know what i'm saying like how i'm supposed to be like giving y'all your energy and i'm sounding like somebody rasping i can't even hit high notes guys oh my god <laughs> but besides all that i'm here um, today, yesterday was a day. I don't know. Did anybody else have a day yesterday? I had a day yesterday. And believe me, it was old stuff. Old stuff that was like, I'm like, where the fuck? Excuse my language, but yes, I was. Where the fuck is these emotions? Where, where is, what is this? I don't know these things. I have not dealt with these kind of issues like in forever. Like what's going on? But like I told you, this week is going to be a healing week. Um, a lot of old emotions, things, situations are going to come back up. But do not be distracted. Do not let that get to you because I am here to tell you personally from spirit, you are on the right path. I don't care what you're experiencing. I don't care like the, the shit that's coming up, the people popping up in your life and trying to like emerge you in their drama. Like what the fuck? Uh-uh. No, honey. Okay, I'm like on Sierra's new song, Level Up. If anybody heard that song, y'all gotta go listen to it. I love it. <laughs> okay, like no one has time for this uh, mess. But guess what? We're here. It's a new day. And I have some confirmation for you guys. Don't get distracted. Don't get in your feelings. Don't feel like, damn, what's going on? All these things are reoccurring and showing up. So you truly know that you didn't evolved and grown into a better person. Because, honey... When I tell you buttons were pushed, boop, 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 and I was like, Ugh! but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. And if you, and in certain areas where I succeeded, certain areas I didn't, let's just be real. Cause with my internet and like, I have personal readings to get to people and all that hoopla going on. I couldn't like y'all were getting your messages. I'm like, oh my God, like what's going on? I had a, like a snack attack. Okay, girl, I went into my kids, my baby's room, and I um my nieces and nephews, and I was tearing up Skittles, Reese's. I was like, I was going in, guys, and I'm not ashamed of it because it taught me a lesson. Because as I was laying in my bed, I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, that's not you anymore. You don't. When you have issues, you don't revert back to food. You know how to handle that shit. You know what I'm saying? So. I went, I'm doing a three-day cleanse to just get that stuff out of my system, but I was so happy because in it, I realized, and maybe this is going to help somebody out because um, with me losing the much of the amount of weight that I have lost and the little bit of time that I've lost, I was 330, 35 pounds, I'm 200 pounds now, and it's not even been a whole year. What helped me do that is for the simple fact I did it for myself. I didn't do it so I can look cute for somebody or I can get a man or uh, revenge on an ex or something like that. Or just, I literally did it for me. And when the first time I did something for me, that's when that shit stuck. And it, it really like did amazing, amazing wonders. So listen, don't feel bad because I'm, 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 I know for sure if you have experienced something, you have, you are stumbling upon it or you already seen some light at the end of the tumble, the tunnel. And I really realized like, even though I had a, a moment and I went and ate all my nieces and nephews, um, candy, you know, but Jada's not mad at me guys. Cause she, she still left me a note on my table this morning <laughs> after I demolished her Skittles. She's you see, there's, they love me, you know? So, um, it really showed me that how much progress I have made. You know, it showed me some strength about myself. 
And it truly, truly showed me that I'm on the right path, guys. So don't let these things that are happening, you know, disbobulate you, okay? You know, whether you're going to experience it today or you experience it yesterday or tomorrow. I don't care what comes in your way. What tries to tell you that you are the same person that you were to a week ago, yesterday, a year ago? Because as we know, growth, honey, if you knew me yesterday, you don't know me today point blank period because that's how growth works but anyways I hope my lovelies have looked in that mirror and told yourself how happy you are to be doing life with you how much you love you I looked in that mirror today and I said Latoria I am so proud of you because despite all the little darts that were been thrown at you girl like you have even with that candy and stuff you ate even when you fell down a little bit you picked yourself back up you didn't have a pity party and you kept it moving. And that is so much growth for you and yourself. You constantly have me in awe, girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to have these conversations with yourself, especially this week. Give yourself patience. Give yourself that tenderness that we always extend to a loved one or a friend. Definitely give that self to you. Because if ain't nobody else proud of everyone who logs onto these dailies, Latoria and yourself are. My higher self and your higher self are so proud of you because it's not easy, okay? It's not easy all the time to hold a mirror to your face and see what the fuck is going on and be willing to work through it. It's not easy because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But guess what? Everybody's not doing it. And it's okay because they're going to do it on their time. But you are awoke. You are, have arrived. You are walking the right fucking path. Despise the stuff that try to come up and tell you not that you're not. as a lie. Don't believe that illusion, okay? I hope that you guys have meditated. Definitely want to check out that um, anxiety and fear. The reason why I leave that one in there because that's the one that I'm currently doing right now and as soon as I do that I just feel so uplifted I just feel so relieved uh, I just love it and also while you're balancing doing it for yourself if you are trying to cultivate love in your life you definitely want to look at that um the 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 love one I linked below I do that one every day too I feel as though there's a balance whatever you're trying to cultivate you really want to make sure that you're you know you know what I'm saying? You're doing something um, in it. You don't have to do it all the time. You don't want to make it feel like a job. You want to enjoy doing the meditation, okay? <laughs> or if the meditation's too long, find an affirmation that you can say that's very short, sweet, and simple, okay? But I have heard you guys, okay? And that, how to manifest love, I'm actually working on that right now, but I'm going to let you know, it's not going, I'm waiting until to Jupiter finishes does what, it, what it's doing because I don't want to start anything new, Okay? <laughs> so once that is done once Jupiter is flowing ready to go the gates have been opened and it's flowing the water's flowing I'm gonna drop that but I ain't dropping that just yet all right <laughs> so I love you so much guys and we're going to go ahead and get into your daily guidance your daily energy on this beautiful day um also the weekends is when I'm going to drop pick a card readings for you guys. So in the comments below, okay, because I'm going to take note of them of them all. What kind of pick of the pick pick of the cards? <laughs> pick a card readings would you guys see? I have a lot that I feel, but I also want to get your intake. That way, you know, it's it's not just what I want to put out there, but it's also what you guys would want to see. I know, of course, we'll love. We're going to do different things, but if it's just you know some other stuff you know, that we all can benefit from, you know, because I feel as though we swear like we're so different, but if we only knew how alike everyone is, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and get in here because I don't want to um, keep you guys too long, but just go ahead and drop that in the description box. I'm going to take note of it and write it. Or if you want to email it to me, that's fine, but you can definitely drop it in there. You don't have to do all that stuff, but you can, if you want to, so the weekends, I'm going to be dropping, though I'm not going to be posting dailies or anything, but I will drop pick a card readings because I feel like, I felt like that was good. I felt like that was good. Like, you know, that was a little extra something, something that, you know, you can truly get involved with, you know, and pick on your own. What do y'all think? <laughs> okay, so um, today, all right, and I feel like this could be the energy coming out of yesterday and into today, okay? Because that's that's what I, that's the vibe that I'm getting, okay? Um, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna pick it up because I'm gonna pick it up, okay? 
despise whatever deceit, okay, whatever deceit or whatever old memories or old things or drama, adversity, whatever it could be from a person or it could be from your internal, okay, your internal thoughts. But whatever it is, it's a lie. It's an illusion because you have the victory, okay? You have the victory. And I feel like today you're going to be coming into that, realizing that, you know what, that's their issue. That's not yours. Or even with those thoughts, you're casting that shit down. That's not who you are anymore. You might have done that in the past, but that's not who you are anymore. I feel as though you're going to be coming back into balance. Hello, because I know my ass is. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be coming back into balance with something, something that, you know, was plugging you as you can see the anxiety card. But however, I feel as though your lower self is trying to let this bother you. However, your higher self is telling you that you have the victory over. There's no point of wonder um, thinking about it. Okay, I feel as though, like like you said, you're going to be regaining balance if you haven't already experienced this already. Um because you're walking through the door to personal healing and happiness. I have shuffled these cards so many times and that card keeps coming out because that's truly the theme of the week. Everything that happens today, guys, it's always going you always you're going to reflect back on it and and realize some gain some kind of clarity of some sort concerning the situation. As you see like you were trying to first believing the illusion, but you realize you had the victory. Now over here, it's just like a up and down. So don't be surprised if you have like an up and down moment. You're really high and then you're a little low. It's okay. You're still on the right path. Let this shit work because a lot of karmic cycles are ending. And maybe in the past you were a kind of person who let your emotions rule you. Okay. So you're just really, now it's your lesson to really see before that gift comes down on you to see if you really master that. Okay, just like I used to let food, I used to be an emotional eater. So that past one came up and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But guess what? Though, I, you know, I did it, I bounced back out of it and I know I leveled up. I leveled up on a whole nother level. So don't be surprised if you're, um, you're, I feel like someone who used to be emotionally unbalanced, okay, um, it's, it's coming back today to, to see if you really, you know, to, 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 to prove to, the universe or, you know, who God, whatever it is, whatever blessing with your name on it, it's coming, okay? They just want to truly make sure that, you know, you're able to receive it. And that's totally fine because, um, like you said, the deceit and then the victory. And then right here you have anxiety about something. But I feel as though you're going to come at, you're going to come in and realize that um, just the abundance that's truly in it. And I also wanted to read this card. It was so amazing, okay? In the sense of there is a blessing I don't care, you know, what anxiety, what, what has you ruffled. Your higher self knows that there is so much more to it. Like you have an overflow. And again, these are old lessons coming back to end these cycles. Maybe for a long time, you've let your lower self have reign and they always controlled your um, emotions. So all you have to do, my love, is say, no, no, we're not going there, okay? And you realize who you are. You're the goddess of the moon. You have evolved. You have grown so much strength. That's not who you are anymore, okay? So what you need to do, you need to take that um, lower self back down to its bury it back down where it was and let your higher self reign. But I'm telling you why this is all happening. It's a facade, okay? Don't overreact. Don't do like me and lose your voice. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Just understand that. Just go with the flow. Let it happen naturally. Let it happen naturally. If people try to put, um, provoke you today, just, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Don't be screaming like me and lose your voice. It's okay. It's all right. You know? <laughs> it's okay. But either way, you're, you're on the right path. You're passing it. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then right over here, you have the um, the temple path. Okay. And I love this card because it simply talks about a spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. So you have grown, my lovely, okay? I feel as though someone has been experiencing heartbreak lately, okay? But I just want to let you know that your heart is healed. It's in the healing process, okay? You have the temple path, spiritual awakening. Just take, have patience, have patience. Whatever happened, maybe causing anxiety, causing a wishy-washy today, have patience with it because I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you, you know, what your mind or, you know, is trying to tell you. You are healed. Do you hear me, my lovely? You are healed all the way to the pax, um, to the capacity. You, this is a journey. 
Okay, two, you walked away from everything you knew to start a new. And I'm feeling a strong love message coming out. It's going to happen to twin flame, soulmate, divine partnership. It's going to happen. Okay, that yin, that yang, you're going to have that. Just patience. I honestly feel that when Jupiter finally finishes and releases the energy, this is when you're going to experience that love. You know, don't worry. And it could simply be, you know, your heart is healing and this is a part of the journey, but also you're going to be receiving balance back. My camera is going to cut off on me, guys, and I don't want to cut off on you guys. So I hope that this was truly, truly, truly um, beneficial for you guys. I love you, okay? I love you so much. Go out. Be great. Understand that this is a part of the journey. Don't let it take you down. You got this. You're on the right path. And I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Sending you guys so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Bye, my babies.